How are you football fans? Tomorrow you can stream Arsenal v Man United and Chelsea v Wolves. That's two unmissable fixtures for a one-off payment of just €10. Euro. To grab a Now TV Sky Sports Day Pass and only pay for the games that matter to you, search Now TV today. Content streamed via internet, full terms at nowtv.com. Up, slip, the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Robinson. Die in my city, in my city. But he just died 
blood for my city. Shed his blood for my city. We overcome in my city. Police are searching for multiple suspects after shots were fired in Northwest Fresno today. Fresno police say they were seen calls about two vehicles being involved in the shooting. When they arrived at the apartment complex, officials say they found one of the suspected vehicles with bullet holes Asking and the interior of the car. They also found one of the police officer shot and injured a man suspected of beating his wife and taking a child hostage. Officers got a 911 call from a duplex just after 11 last night. Police say a woman reported her husband assaulted her. Even though she got out of the house, her five-year-old child and her mother were in the house. Her found in an orchard. Red Dog County, in Texas, have cracked the case. One-year-old, Laura Perez. You shall receive seek, and you shall find knock, and it shall open. What? What? Got it. Ask, you shall receive seek, and you shall find knock, and it shall open. What? What? Got it. Hey, yo, what's up? This your boy, DJ Jimmy Hustle, and I'm live in the building with my boy, Orlando Presents, and my main man, Slim VC, and you're now listening to Rep Yo City. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Man, I'm so excited, so excited. Another episode of Rep Yo City. Great time, y'all. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Orlando Presents, sitting down with my brother, my man. The man, 40 grand, Mr. Keaton Swole. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? What up, bro? I'm good, man. Yeah. Man, yeah, all man. good, brother. You know what we say around here? Blessings on blessings on blessings. Blessings <laughs> on blessings on blessings on blessings, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen, brother. Hey, just got to give a major shout-out to Kenny Kim, right here, the CEO, the illustrious, CEO of Elations Radio, so make sure y'all uh, check her out. Make sure you yeah. check out this stage, yeah. man. She has great shows Monday through Sunday, I believe. I believe every day of the week she has something popping. Um, and then she has a brand new show, I believe she's hosting. Uh, I forget what day of the week it is. I believe it's on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday at 12 um, a.m., so make sure y'all check that out, man. Check it out on Facebook, she's always sharing her information and stuff on Facebook, so make sure y'all check that out right here on mm-hmm. Relation Radio, all right? So check that out, man. All prayers to her and her family. Man, we have a, a packed show for y'all, so I'm actually not going to take up too much of your time because we have a double header for y'all. So uh, folks, the folks out there that like baseball, you know, there you go. We've got a double header for there you. There you go. <laughs> all right. Man, let's jump right into this. Say it again, bro. Ben 1000, man. Ben 1000. <laughs> amen. Amen. So uh, let's jump right into the scripture of the night. Uh, we're pulling it up from Amos Amos uh, 3 3. Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? Wow. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Say word. <laughs> that was. Man, that was deep when I read it earlier today, and I was just sitting there thinking about it. I was like, wow, really? I was trying to imagine right. that. Two people walking in different directions, are they going to agree? Man, okay. <laughs> hey, that's a good question. <laughs> so, uh, good question. without further ado, say it again. I said it's right. Good question. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and get this ball rolling, man. Like I always love to tell y'all, go ahead and um, check out that scripture of the day at your leisure, whenever you have your quiet time, your study time, man. Read up on that and see what God uh, speaks into your heart about that. Once again, that was Amos 3.3. Can two people um, agree when they're walking in different directions? Yes, I am paraphrasing because I'm not reading straight from the Bible right now. So (laughs) so, uh, let's jump on into it. My man, Mike Cheesy, should be on the line. Mike Cheesy, you there, bro? Can y'all hear me? 
Yep. We can hear you. All right. There we go. <laughs> All that sharing and hooping and hollering and stuff, y'all just getting here it over here. I can't make too much noise. Man. Yeah, y'all really think I'm going crazy. But uh, <laughs> but man, Mike Jeezy, tell you this brother, man. Every time I speak to this brother, he has something going on or something popping that you know everybody needs to take heed to. Everybody needs to listen to. I mean, he has multiple videos out there. The brother has been doing. Um, podcasts and radio shows like back to back to back lately or whatever. And uh, shout out to all the radio stations out there and podcasts that's been uh, sitting down speaking to this brother, man, because he uh, definitely has been putting in the work. Uh, shout out to Stedman Robinson, um, LLC, Robinson Legacy, LLC. Um, shout out to his mom, his manager. She, I mean, they, they're, their team just laying it down, man. So, um, yeah. First and foremost, bro, let the folks know what city you repping. Oh, man, I'm representing that A-Town all day, man, ATL, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, let's take it to the A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Man. yes, sir. Man, man, man. When I first heard that song years ago, I think I was living in Georgia when that uh, song first came out. I was like, boy, people would... Man, people lost their mind when that joint came out. Every time it drops in the club, <laughs> people were just going right. crazy. <laughs> I was like, boy. So, um, if any, if nobody ever visited um, Atlanta, nobody ever, if, if a person has never been to Atlanta, what would you say the first spot they need to go to 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 make them feel like they're actually in ATS? Oh man, uh, that's that's a tough one, man. I mean, it's it's so many different spots, man. I think it would depend on, um, you know, where you are in life, man. Because, I mean, if you're a sports fanatic, I mean, you know, we just built the new Mercedes Benz um, stadium for the Falcons. You know, um, if you a family type, if you a family type person, you know, they got the aquarium and. You know, we are the world headquarters for Coke, so they got the Coca-Cola factory, you know what I'm saying, for that. Um, if you a foodie, they got restaurants out the wazoo, man. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of different options, man, um, even for the nightlife. I mean, it's 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 that's, that's a tough question, man. It really just depends, man. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's something for everybody, whether it be just having a good time or even career-wise, man. So. It's, yeah. it's a lot of options, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. But see, you see, it may have been a tough question, but I knew you could handle it, though. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> you, you know, you filled it correctly, man. See, you and your PR team has, you know, been practicing, you know, sitting in the dark room throwing questions at you. I see. I feel <laughs> it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, man. If y'all didn't know, man, my G is my G is actually a seasoned vet, man. This brother has been around for a minute. Let the folks know um, how long you actually been doing uh, Christian music, like um, on a professional level. Like you were, okay, this is it. This is, you know, I've crossed over to this plateau. Now it's time for me to, you know, just stop playing with it. Um, I was pro- well. I've been doing it just as, you know, between me and God uh, since I started about 04. Um, but on a professional level, that happened around maybe about 2000, about 2008 is when I um, mm. expounded and kind of started taking things a lot more seriously, you know, booking shows, um, working on the business aspect of things, and then really just trying to take the ministry um, to another level. Prior to that, I was just a well-known person at my home church, you know, and people would like to, you know, talk about me and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'll say about around <laughs> 08 is when I started taking it to the oh, next okay. level. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool, cool. Now, um, a lot of times when I look on, look on Facebook and I see a lot of your videos and things of that nature, one thing that points out to me is that you have a lot of energy, man. And uh, I think that's a good <laughs> thing. That's always a good thing to me. 
for an yeah. artist, regardless if you're a singer, rapper, or whatever, to have a lot of energy on stage because even if a person comes out to an event and it's free, it really wasn't free, was it? Because the person still has to pay for gas to get there. So, <laughs> okay. you, know, you know, so uh, if the person, you know, takes their time out to come see you, you want to, you know, minister to them. You want to give them a good time, you know, show them, hey, okay, I appreciate that you're there. So that's one thing that I want to uh, tell you first and foremost, that I always see that energy from you, man. And it's just like, wow, this brother is really – um, a lot of times I see that you're in tune, that you're really in tune with God while you're on stage. Now, my question is for you as a as a gospel artist, have you ever gotten to a point where you were performing and you were worshiping so hard that any of your lyrics slipped your mind? I don't believe that they've necessarily slipped my mind, but I have been at a point where I think as artists sometimes we get so caught up in just trying to have a good show that we don't necessarily re recite our lyrics but we don't really pay attention to what we're saying. So mm. you know, there have been times where, you know, I have to humble myself and say that, you know, Mike, it's not about you, you know, it's about the man upstairs. And I've caught myself really focusing on my lyrics and sometimes even closing my eyes on stage and not looking at the crowd. And I'll just, I, it's like it's almost like I'm talking to God. I just so happen to be in front of people, if that makes any sense. Um, mm-hmm. So I haven't necessarily forgot my words or anything in the midst of the spirit, but I have gotten to a point where the crowd is irrelevant. And whether they are, whether they are, you know, turned up and just jumping around crazy, or they looking at me like I wish this dude would get off stage. It's irrelevant <laughs> at that point, you know. It's it's irrelevant because I'm having that moment with God. Right, right. Amen, amen. Well, uh, okay. we really don't have a long time with you uh, here on the show, but. Uh, we do have some time with you, most definitely, and I do appreciate your time that you allowed us now, you know, to have you on. But um, I'm going to let my brother Slim Feasy jump on in there because I know he has some uh, some questions over there for you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, mine running kind of along the same line as, as, as the last one. Uh, what has been like your, um, well, what has been like your best, the best place where you, you outside of uh, where you live in to go and uh, uh, do events, you know, and uh, uh, you know, share the spirit of God with people. What what has been the favorite? You know, one of the favorites. Ooh, um, that's a good one, man. It's it's a story in every city. Um, the one that stands out off the top of the head would be a more recent one which was in uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's a little small town, but um, I was actually on tour with a great group um, this summer. Shout out to the Extreme Tour out of Nashville. And um, that was one of the stops. And um, I just so happened to be doing the tour, and um, it was out, more of an outreach ministry, so we were, like, you know, in the neighborhoods, you know, ministering through music or whatever, and somebody just so happened to hear me sitting on their step, you know, on the stoop. And so after I finished my performance, they literally walked up to me like, yeah, I need to talk to you, brother. And uh, they were like, yo, we got an event coming up. (laughs) They were like, yeah, we got an event coming up. Would you be interested? And I was like, you know, of course. And, you know, we ironed out all the details. And um, when they first invited me back out, um, the love that I got was just incredible. They actually invited me out twice within about two months. Um, and the first time it was a block party. It was great. It was probably a good two, three thousand people out there. Um, but the second time they invited me, I was a lot more intimate. It was like Youth Sunday, and um, yeah. the amount of love that I got from all ages was just um, it was incredible, man. Um, uh, even the pastor, who I believe was in his 60s, he 
he started getting a little youthful two step in him, and I was like, okay, this this, this, this is good right here. This is good right here. So um, shout out to um, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, man. They definitely show love. I've had a lot of good ones, but that was probably the most recent. Where I was like, yeah, anytime they need me to come back, man, it's, it's a done deal. They show me a lot of love. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, and uh, uh, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, well, I got one more that might be able to help the people because uh, it's a unique thing, uh, you know, being able to work with family. So tell the people uh, how it feels, man, to be, you know, to have, uh, you know, family working on your side, man. You know, I heard, your, you know, your mom is your manager. So, uh, tell, you know, tell the people how it feels. It might be somebody out there kind of, uh, you know, kind of, kind of wavering in that uh in that selection. Um, well, I mean the the simplified version is that, you know, this is um ministry and it's a beautiful thing as far as art, but it's a business nonetheless. And um when you start talking about business, it's very important to be able to deal with people that number one you trust and number two, have your best interest at heart. Um, and right. and majority of the time, you know, family is going to have your back. You know, um, that doesn't mean that every moment is peachy, but it does mean that <laughs> when, push come, when push come to shove, um, they're not going to let anybody else take advantage of you, you know. Right. So because um, anybody can just go out and – you know, look up a resume and say, hey, I, I hear you do managerial work. Can you help me out? You know, anybody can right. do that. But at the end of the day, no matter what their resume looks like, you don't know that person. You know? Right. You don't know their business deals in the past. And I've I've dealt with some people where, hey, when I first met you, you were great. And then right. within a few weeks, I realized, yeah, you're not so great no more. You know, so, um, so yeah, it, you know, it, it um, dealing with people that you trust is important. So, and I think family has a lot to do with that. Definitely, definitely, true story, true story. And shout out to Miss uh, Mary Go. Go. Pronounce your last name so I won't butcher it. Oh, Goolsby. <laughs> yeah. Goolsby. There you go. Shout yeah. out to Miss Mary Goolsby. Um, Y'all be holding it down, man. Most definitely, I, I I love the teamwork. I love you know what y'all put out there. I love the support that you have. You know that y'all your, your team has for each other, man. So uh, that's definitely a blessing in itself. Um, let the folks know, man. What do you have coming up? What's what's coming up with um, you know Mike Jeezy? Is there an album coming up down the pike, or another video, or what you have going on? Yeah, man, um, all of that, man. We, um, we're we actually getting ready to link up with the Extreme Tour again for a follow-up tour and work on the yeah. specifics of the dates. Um, okay. Definitely got some some new music on the way, but I uh, got to keep that on the on the hush because I want to surprise y'all with that good, good, you know. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, uh, with the videos, we definitely got some new videos coming up, got some songs in the works. Um, that are already kind of circulating that um, we're getting ready to shoot for that. It's going to be a good look, man. Uh, just had the website come up, uh, Mike Jeezy Music. So everybody can, uh, MikeJeezyMusic.com. Um, everything else is Mike Jeezy, by the way, on um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, website. Everything is Mike Jeezy Music. And, um, you know, we're pushing forward, man. So, like I say, music yeah. videos, touring, shows, um yeah, it's, it's 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 a beautiful thing, man. Life is um, definitely happening in the right direction. Amen. Amen. Um, lately in the past, I, I believe the past week or the past two weeks, um, for whatever reason, a lot of podcasts and a lot of radio shows and a lot of people that I've talked to have been talking about um, revival, revival, um, mm-hmm. going back and you know studying the Bible all over again or are going back and, you know, getting uplifted and getting stronger within within the word and, and not allowing things to fade away or not allowing things to be diluted uh, within your walk. Have you felt 
any um, dilution within your time of doing your ministry? And if so, um, how did how was it pointed out to you? Was it pointed out to you by yourself? Or was somebody sitting down with you saying, hey, do you need to take a rest? Do you need to go back and recharge or anything of that nature? Um, good question, first off. Um, I think it's, it's, well, for me, it's one of those things that I think the Holy Spirit has to lead you. Um, for me, I just actually um, earlier last, well, I say mid last year, um, got back involved with the youth ministry at my church. Um, and I had to take a little hiatus because I got to, I got a little burnt out because I was, I was kind of on a, on a yes man mission. You know, if anybody needed something, yo, I was down to help. You. Um, what I didn't realize was I was kind of burning myself out. So what transpired was I had to reach a point where I say, Okay, let let me focus on getting me right because when, after I got burnt out, it's very hard to pour into other people when you're not being replenished yourself. And so, with me not being replenished, you know, your mind starts wandering. You start, you know, kind of veering off to the left. So, what happened was, you know. For me, and I think that everybody can do it. Sometimes you just gotta just stop, man, and just focus on what's important and veer right back on track. Um, that, that's pretty okay. much what um, I, that's pretty much what I've experienced, man. Just sometimes you just gotta slow down, man. Life, you know, we all live in a fast-paced life. My youth pastor used to call it, "This is the microwave generation. We want things now," you know, right. um, and Sometimes you just got to slow things down and regroup. Um, it may mean you have to take some L's here and there, but you got to look long term. You can't be so focused on what's happening tomorrow. Sometimes you have to slow down so you can prep for next week, next month, next year. So That's right. just just, just sometimes you got to slow things down, man, and regroup and focus on what's more important, you know, um, making sure people are happy or focusing on what God would have you to do. Right. Amen. Amen. Because a lot of people, a lot of people always love to say that, um, you know, if you don't slow down, God's going to make you slow down. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you you got so sick or whatever because God's just trying to slow you down and, and make you rest. I'm looking at people like, what? <laughs> like, okay. Right, right. I mean, if that's what you have to believe that, all right, but yeah. <laughs> If you would have right. took care of yourself, you wouldn't have gotten. Nah, I'm right. Kidding, but, uh, yourself too. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I, I feel you, man. Most definitely, a hundred percent. Because uh, I feel, I feel that sometimes, and like I said, for whatever reason, it just seems like that same subject is um, that same same subject has been popping up uh, week after week and day after day and everything. And I'm I'm sitting back thinking, I'm like, God, are you speaking to me? I mean, directly, because it keeps coming up about going back to the beginning, you know, reviving, um, you know, re-energizing, re-energizing yourself. So uh, definitely, definitely, I understand that. Um, like I said, man, hey, I just got to give a... I got to give a um, brief announcement real quick just to let people know out there. Um, we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty with the music, so we do not have a lot of our music uploaded that we did have. But, hey, we're blessed enough to still be able to sit down and speak to our guests and everything. So I do apologize for that now. But um, it's all good, man. It's all good. Most it's definitely. all blessed. You know, hey, things work the way it's supposed to work. So um, a lot of times we don't have anything under our control. So you just have to fly by right. and, and, and do what's laid out there for you, man. So and just praise him anyway. Most definitely God has it all right. under control. So uh, That just means we can have a better conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That, hey, most people getting paid millions of dollars just sitting back talking on podcasts. So I was right. always thinking, like, how do they do that? Man, just sit there and right. talk, 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 talk. 
and don't have any music to break in the middle of. (laughs) 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 Exactly. Hey, before we let you go, man, usually uh, we have, like, an artist of the episode, and we have a business of the episode from our featured guest's um, hometown or wherever they're from. So this show is no different. So I want you to let the folks know um, a business in Atlanta that you usually frequent or that you want people to know a little bit more about, and also an artist that uh, you may want people to check out and that you've been listening to yourself. So this is a uh, basically a time for you to show love to somebody else. Oh, man, that's cool. That's cool. Um, well, as far as the business, um, I'll give a special shout-out to, special shout out, um, to Ray's Food. Um, it's a good friend of mine. Um, it's a good friend of mine's father who just opened up a restaurant not too long ago. And if you like that, uh, good old southern grandmama cooking, you know what I'm saying, a stick to your ribs. Hey, man, Ray's yeah. Southern Food, man, um, in Jonesboro is uh, definitely the spot you want to hit, man. So shout-out to Big Daddy and the whole clan over there, man. So love y'all. And, um, yeah, man, if y'all in the area, please stop by. Um, artists, um, I would actually like to give it up to one of my homeboys, uh, Chris Elijah. He um, just actually released a track with a dude named yeah. Westside Shouty. And, uh, you know, definitely two gospel artists that are from the same. Well, Chris is from Decatur, like myself, uh, Westside Shouty. Not sure where he's from, but with the name Westside. Probably around that kind of old bankhead somewhere area. Um, but they specialize, they both specialize in music that's got a real youthful trap feel, but it's 100% gospel. Um, and they just, um, yeah, they just released a single called Relapse, uh, I believe either today or yesterday, man. So um, definitely they're doing their thing for the Lord and just um, trying to reach the youth in a way that they can understand. So hey, that's man. hard. Hey. Amen. Amen. Yeah, um, Chris Elijah, I believe I've had him um, in rotation, so definitely I've heard his name before. So I had uh, some of his music in rotation. So, that was uh, bumping him earlier today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's a dope Amen. dude. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, once again, man, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for uh, coming on the show with us, uh, Mike Jeezy. Do you have any uh, last words for the folks, man? And let the folks know also how they can get in contact with you and um, support your ministry. Oh, absolutely, man. Um, Again, man, everything online is Mike Jeezy Music. That's M-I-K-E, the letter G as in God, Z as in Zebra, Music dot com at everything. Um it's Mike G the music. Also man, shout out to um Mama Rita, man. I down in Florida, man. She shows me a lot of love. I think y'all might know her. Um yeah. real sweet woman. She's always going into the youth detention centers and just um giving kids hope that, you know, the current situation is not the uh the permanent outlook on what the rest of their life has to look at. So um shout out to her and like I said, um Anybody can reach me on any social media outlet on the website. Mike Jeezy Music. So. Praise God. All right. Praise God. All right. Amen. 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 Right, amen. So uh, what we're about to do is so uh, we can get ready for our uh, next guest calling in. We're going to go ahead and go to some music that we do have loaded up. And uh, we'll be right back with more Rep Young City. Once again, thank you very Rep. much. Everybody give a shout out to Mike Jeezy. Go check out his uh, Spotify. Go check out his music. Go to Google Google Play and purchase all of his singles. Go out there and purchase all of them. So, right. you know, Amen. come for it. Go out there and do it. You just got your tax check then. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hashtag 9 on 1 hit maker.
ain't no gotta search. Believe that. At one point, then no jack. Every sentence seemed like I cut. Laying up with a different girl. Some night seemed like a must. Been a all used to be my crush. Want the pain over. Too much. All I need is one touch. This is more than a gut feeling. Filled up, got the Holy Spirit. I know his voice when he call my name. Yeah, I do hear it. Come on out of that fear spirit. Yeah, that was her. That was her. 
you know, just remember, man, God is always there. There's always a plan and a purpose and a season for all of us. We may not right. understand it, but God understands it. He explains it within the word to us. So if we're, you know, um, studying his word and really digesting it, we, you know, it's not going to take away total all the pain of a loss, but we will understand it a little bit more on, right. you know, why that person, you know, is gone at this moment, at this time. So definitely, you know, our prayers go out yep, to you. Yep. Prayers up man. Yeah, man. And so, uh, brother, no, no, no. I'm just about to say, yeah, continue to pray for the brother. I spoke to him today, too, also just to add a note, yeah. And uh, uh, he's still strong. He's like, man, you ready? I'm like, man, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to go out there. Right? <laughs> but, yeah, man. Amen. Amen. I love that. I love that. Uh, and just to let you all know out there as well, man, uh, Rep Your City has started up a radio station. So Rep Your City Radio is up and running. It's up and running. You can actually go listen to it on uh bit.ly forward slash capital rep your city radio that's bit.ly forward slash capital rep your city radio so we are up and running we have a lot of the music on there from the artists that you know we had on the show and also our shows are going to be on there they're just going to be basically playing in rotation um, I'll upload a couple of shows and just let them play. You catch it, you catch it. You know, if you don't catch it now, I'll try to, you know, let folks know, hey, it's going to be playing now, but I'm not really scheduling it any particular time and stuff that is going to play right now. Um, so maybe later on I will, but um, right now I'm just loading, loading them up, loading a couple of them up and just letting them play along with the uh, music and everything. So, hey, if you can catch it, that's fantastic. Right now, the shows that we have loaded is the interview we did with Curtis Lamar. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, the interview we did with uh, D. Black and the interview we did with uh, Ernest Music. Uh, those three shows will be loaded up in, in rotation at um, right now. And then, like I said, later on each week, we'll probably load a different show, you know, as we go along. Uh, Definitely, like I said before, man, God has really been moving within the ministry, helping us out, really, uh, you know, uplifting us, having us do some different things. And and that's what it's all about, man, Uh, just to be able to do some different things and touch different people and um, be able to open up some lives and help some artists be heard and their ministries be heard and seen Maybe, you know, they wouldn't have been able to have a chance to get an interview on the radio or something of that nature. So okay. I try to oblige that as much as we can, uh, definitely. Even if you hear just me, I always make sure I show love to my brothers, DJ Jimmy Hustle and Slim Feasy. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're all a team. We all run together, period, point work. blank. You don't get one way out the other. So when it comes to Refuge City, the most definitely. Um, let me see. This Sunday, we will have a special show going on for the females of CHH on uh, another station. So definitely uh, be looking out for that. I have all that already set up and ready, so all I have to do is record it. So females of CHH, y'all get ready, man. About to be put on. Get on ready, the get ready. Put on the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, give give so, the spotlight, man. There you go. Got the spotlight. So before the time runs away with us, man, we still have to do our artists and um, business of the episode. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Let me go first. I got it, man. Uh, my hey. artist. Uh, yeah. Huh? yeah, go ahead, bro. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. My artist of the episode is uh, uh, Seti. It, it sounds a whole lot like my other artist of the episode, but his name is S E. T T Y and he got a song called Candlelight, man. And it is it's really dope. I think you need to go check it out. Go look it up on Spotify and all the other places to get music. His name is Steady and it's Candlelight and his name once again is uh spelled S E T T Y. And uh man, go check that out. Um 
my business of the episode is I'm gonna go with uh, uh, Rod Pickens, man. He does uh, he does uh, photography and uh, videography and stuff like that, man. He really good at it, and uh, I need to be setting up right now to get him to take me some pictures, man. He got some he got some really good work. Uh, you know, he does graphics too. They come with they come with thing too, man. He does that. And uh, man, he really he really good at it, man. So I need to go holler at him, and everybody else go 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 see what's up with him, man. Uh, he uh, he he taking calls and bookings from everywhere. So go 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 yell at him. I have it uh, up on the Rip Your City page, man. Once again, it's Rod Pickens, and uh, go check him out. All right, all right, fantastic, fantastic. So uh, yeah. my. My business of the episode is actually going to be this is finally going to be a food place, man. Again, uh, Jim Dandy, Jim Dandy's, man. It's a, a seafood place right here in Kilmarnock, Virginia, man. They have some good seafood there. We uh, grabbed our dinner from there tonight. I had a, um, I had a, a taco, a fish taco. Yeah, I had a oh, fish man. taco from there. So. You know, it was it was quite good, I would say, you know. <laughs> it was quite good. <laughs> but but uh, enjoyed myself and everything. And I told him that I was going to shout them out tonight. So hopefully somebody from uh, Jim Danny's is listening. So shout out to Jim Danny's, most definitely. And uh, my artist of the episode, I told you I'm going to be pulling artists from uh, the record label Infantry. Uh, and um, the artist this time is Reflex. Uh, check out Reflex, man. Reflex is a dope artist. He has a song on uh, Infantry 2018's playlist on Spotify called Translate. Um, and he also has a couple of different videos on YouTube as well. So make sure you check out Reflex from uh, Infantry. And uh, before we go, man, I want to give a major shout out to our artists from uh, Wednesday night show, uh, BRM and Jay Dunn, man, from uh, Rapture Ready yeah, Productions, man. Yeah. Those brothers really, really had a good time on that show last week and everything. So I really want to give them, show them some love again and uh, appreciation for coming on and everything. So I still got to get up with a lot of them from Rapture Ready Productions and get them on the show. So we can go ahead and have the whole squad on there. Um, Let me see. Wednesday. Wednesday show, I believe, is King David the Vessel. Uh, King David the Vessel will be our special guest on Wednesday night show on the new URN uh, radio, online radio station. So make sure you check out that and watch out for the flyers that will be coming out very soon. Uh, The brother, uh, King David the Vessel, has a single out called All I Need and um, featuring a, a new duo, which everybody in the song is actually from the Chicago area. So um, shout out to King David the Vessel and a new duo. So we'll be able to sit down with them Wednesday night and shop it up with them. Talk about some deep dish pizza, man. Chicago deep dish. Yeah. You ever been to Chicago, Slim? Yeah, I've been to Chicago, man. A good deep dish. Uh, what's what's it called? G, uh, oh, what's his name? Giannos or something like that. Uh, it's something. I know somebody know I'm butchering up the name, but they know what I'm yeah. talking about, man. <laughs> yeah, they got All right. Yeah, I've, I've never had the honor of um, going to Chicago. I've, I've lived close to, I've been through uh, Illinois, but I've yeah. never been um, in the Chicago, Chicago uh, area. So oh, definitely, I was. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, you know, traveling around and meeting and seeing a lot of these areas and stuff. So, definitely. Yeah. Um, and we, we and also, by her. to my brother. Say it again. Right. I said, when we go, we're going to stop by Harold's uh, chicken. <laughs> we're going to go back there too. Man. <laughs> man, before I hook up with you, bro, and this uh, Rep Your City tour in 2020, man, I'm going to have to lose me about 50 to 100 pounds because I know I'm going to end up putting on some... <laughs> Just to gain it back. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to end up putting all that weight back on me, man, when I be up with you, boy. Like, shoot. Every time we talk, you talk about uh, barbecue and everything else, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, man. So... 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, man, once again, I appreciate your support. I appreciate. We really do appreciate you listening right here on Elations Radio. Shout out once again to uh, Kenny Robinson. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, Kimmy Kim. <laughs> Uh, for all the love yeah. and the support, man, that she's shown this show. Um, I believe we're what? We're about what? Two months? About two, three months in from being here on the elections? Yeah, yeah, about that long. Time flies, yeah. man. Yeah, time, time flies. 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 Time and also, y'all remember the scripture of the night that's from uh, Amos, Amos um, 3.3. Make sure y'all go check that out, man, and study at your leisure, like I said. And uh, just remember, man, um, I was studying a little something about uh, memory and about muscle right. memory because I've been going to um, physical therapy and stuff like that or whatever, and they keep saying, you know, hey, you have to retrain your legs and stuff like that because, you know, you've been limping on your leg for like three or four years before I had this hip operation. So the muscles in your legs aren't as strong as what they used to be, you know, before I started, before I messed up my hip and everything. So, um, uh-huh. and it just amazes me on when when you think about that, it's just like how we say about the body of Christ. You know, when, right. when somebody is falling down and somebody needs help or whatever, everybody else who is healthy, you know, we should be coming around them and lifting uh-huh. them up and supporting them, right. even though we may have a wounded comrade, somebody that's wounded, a wounded family member, we help them. We help them along until they're strong enough to stand on their own and to be mobile and to stand up strong and boldly on their own to, on own two feet. But right. I'm starting to see more and more now that we're adopting the worldly way. If I'm upset right. with you or something, instead of discussing it, I'll just say mm-hmm. forget you and move on. And move, but is that really right. Christ? Right. If Christ True. was to just say to us, you know what, you may be upset by that sin that you did, so forget you, build yourself up, get yourself out of that mess of being a drug addict, get yourself out of that mess of being a hooker, get yourself out of that mess of being, you know, whatever sin that you have yourself stuck in, if God pointed a finger at us and told us to get yourself out of that mess, how many of us would have died and went straight to hell? Because right. we could not get ourselves out. We need right. the assistance of our brothers and sisters to lift us up and to help us. Now, That's I'm right. not saying that we we have to you know, we're not supposed to do anything on our own to help ourselves along because if you're just sitting there leaning on somebody and not trying to help, guess what? You're not walking. You're not limping. You're being drugged. They're right. dragging you. And if anybody, <clears throat> excuse me, if anybody been in a situation where they had to drag somebody out of maybe a, or drag somebody out of a bad situation into a good situation so that they can start doing CPR on them or something like that, you start getting tired. So imagine right. if a person has to drag you for years or months even before you get it into your head that, oh, I need to stand on my own, then yes, I can maybe understand a person saying, you know what, you're not even trying to help yourself. Right. So I can't keep dragging you because eventually my legs are going to give out and we're both are going to be flat. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us are going to be able to drag each other at all. We'll be no good. So with that being said, we need to understand and realize that we have to at least give assistance to our assisters. That's right. Just like if you're limping, if you sprung your ankle or something like that, you don't just give up and try to walk on one leg. Yeah, if it's broke or something or whatever, yeah, you have crutches. But guess what? You have crutches to help you. But you're not right. on the crutches for the rest of your life. Eventually, that leg is going to heal. 
and then you're going to start walking on both your legs. You're going to start limping a little bit. And then your other leg is going to start getting stronger, and then that limp is going to go away, and you'll be able to walk on both your feet without any assistance. Good That's work. just like with us in this body of Christ. We need assistance from our brothers and sisters. But don't be the 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 oversized bag of potatoes being drugged from here and there. <laughs> Get right. assistance. Try. Get up. It's going to hurt. Yes, it's going to hurt. But get up and fight. Try. Right. Because eventually everybody is going to get tired of dragging you along and they're just going to drop you. So remember that. Pray to God that he can give you the strength and the power to at least try to help the person that's trying to help you so that you can right. become stronger. And then once you're stronger, and you're able to stand up and walk on your own two feet, guess what? You're not walking alone now. You have your team with you. You have your family with you. You have the, the people around you that was helping you while you were limping. Now you're strong, and you're able to stand up bold on your own. So now you have somebody else around you that's going to need your assistance because they're going to end up falling and needing your help to get back up. Right. So let's tough. just remember that, man. Let's remember that within our walk. Let's remember that within our day-to-day operations. Let's just remember that it does take a whole village in order for us to raise up, to rise up, and to help each other, man. To rise right. up and to be able to walk boldly and strong. Be strong about it. So just remember that whenever you you come through, you know, your legs are hurting or something and you start limping, hey, that's something that definitely is pulled right out the Bible that, you know, it takes a team, man. You can't just do it yourself a lot of times. You needed assistance. Just like when I got out of my operation, you know, from a hip operation, I couldn't just jump out the bed and walk around on my own two feet and everything. I needed a walker. I needed assistance. And then I moved from a walker to a cane. And then I moved from a cane to being able to stand up on my own two feet and walking. So it's just like with our spiritual life, man. Just like with our spiritual life. And and let's not be so quick to turn our backs on our brothers and sisters either. Sometimes it takes a person a little longer to get up. But if you see that person trying, that's the difference, y'all. If we see that person at least trying to make some Mm -hmm. efforts, let's not just drop them, Right. you know. So that's about it. That's my two cents for the night, man, here on Rep Your City. Hope y'all have a blessed night, man. We love you very much. And uh, like I said, check us out on Wednesday at our live show. Uh, Check out our next episode on uh, Sunday at 1 p.m. on the Bridge Radio Show. And, um, hey, from Orlando Presents, my brother Slim and DJ yeah. Jimmy Hustle, y'all have a blessed night. And from Elations Radio, Kenny Kim, y'all have a blessed night, man. We're out. God bless. Hey, yo, what's up? This your boy, DJ Jimmy Hustle, and I'm live in the building with my homeboy, Orlando Presents, and my main man, Slim Beasy. And you are now listening to Rep Yo City. Turn up. You don't want to do that.
bang a dose, it's something to get your feet moving like a jump rope. But see, it ain't about the dance or the new swag. It's all about the mistakes I made in the past. You can take it any way that you want to. But I'm going to tell you about the stuff you don't want to do. Like going off and fighting all that in school. Ripping your clothes and looking just like a fool. That ain't cool, so you just need to chill. I ain't tripping, shorty, I'm just keeping the real. Folks keep telling you to let it go, but you don't want to let it ride because you want some more. Ho, ho, roll up while you're running your mouth. Try to get smart with them and they yoke you out. Now y'all go into jail and you got the blues and it's all because somebody stepped on your shoes. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I'm running to finish it. I cannot lose when I'm 
I'm fighting. I cannot lose when I'm fighting. I got a victory party. All of my homies invited. I know I've been winning in the gameplay. Yeah, all my brothers, they could say the same thing. Hold up. Why you think we coming up the same way? Yeah, don't you know we praising Most my up life the same on this new way. Love God always, that's the new way. I ain't even been home maybe for two days. Cause I've been on this road steady on a new way. Yeah, I'm on a new way. Me and my team on a new way. Yeah, I'm on a new way. Me and my team on a new way. Yeah, I'm on a new way. Me and my team on a new way. Yeah, I'm on a new way. Me and my team on a new way. They be on the old, I be on a new. They go something road, eating lunchables. I be on the road doing what we do. Exit road, road, sitting comfortable. Slur bottle over do say. Lady love them like it cool, J. But they be talking about the old me and yeah, the new me's on a new way. Look, I got the lady, she fine. This year I'm making a mind. You know I'm taking my time. I wait and I wait, but I got me a time, homie. She get tan. And she love God, homie, it's the win. And she gon' ride with me to the end. Tell them more girls I ain't with the sin, cause I'm on a new way. Most of my life I've been on this new way. Love God always, that's the new way. I ain't even been home maybe for two days. Cause I've been on this road steady on a new way. Yeah, I'm on the yeah. 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 Look, give me pennies for my thoughts. Got enough to flood the market now. I don't care about the cost. I'm about to shut the market down. I was surfing on the same way. Hanging 10, trying to maintain. Change came when the change came. Change came when the change, uh. Used to worry about the tag. Uh. I don't even check the price now. Never had to wait in line. Uh. I don't even put a dime down. Said I never have to pay. Whoa. Plus they let me keep the change. Yeah. Plus they let me keep the change. Yeah. Plus they let me keep the, uh. You can say I change, but I know. I can't stay the same, not to know. I can't stand the rain, but I grow. Took the pain for my gain, cause somebody had to pay. Look at me now. Many moves I would grind, uh, making moves over time. Uh, I ain't do this overnight, hey. What do you know? Now I'm walking out the door. Uh, tried to cop it on my own. Uh, now I cop it for the low. Cop it for the low. Back in the lab like a chemist. Back in my element, take every L I inherit and leverage. Lithium power, I'm nothing to meddle with. Michael Phelps with the penmanship. Stroke is efficient, I'm finna swim. 401k on a day to day. Everything works for my benefit, effortless, yeah. Better take it up with management. Let them work it out, cause I ain't pressing it. But I'm pressing on like a nail salon. Always hands on like a manicure. It's not a flow polish. Might as touch with the gold on it. Might as well go ahead and load up on it. When you can't afford it, but you understand that you ain't paying for it. That's free. Give me pennies for my thoughts. Got enough to flood the market now. I don't care about the cost. I'm about to shut the market down. I was surfing on the same way. Hanging 10, trying to maintain. Change came when the change came. Change came when the change, uh. Used to worry about the tag. Uh, I don't even check the price now. Never had to wait in line. Uh, I don't even put a dime down. Said I never have to pay. Whoa. Plus they let me keep the change. Yeah. Plus they let me keep the change. Yeah. Plus they let me keep the. Like to thank you for listening to Rep Yo City.